Hey, Clint Coons here, and you've heard me talk about transferring real estate into limited liability companies or land trusts. And if it's the right type of mortgage, then the lender cannot accelerate your note. That's the due on sale clause. And I know this question comes up a lot. People are concerned, hey, if I move it in, the lender's gonna turn around and accelerate. Well, in one of my previous videos, let me just show you right here, I talked about the due on sale clause and moving real estate in and actually gave you links to Freddie and Fannie that if you have a conventional mortgage and you wanna put property into a limited liability company after you've already owned it in your own name, that they will not accelerate the note. Well, I've been getting a lot of questions now about determining whether or not my mortgage is actually owned by Freddie or Fannie because the way mortgages work is that you go to a broker, you take out your mortgage to buy the investment property, and then it's turned over to a loan service processor. And you may not know if that lender has yet sold that mortgage to Freddie or Fannie. And then the problem becomes is that if you transfer the real estate into an LLC and it's not yet owned by Freddie or Fannie, well, that, that broker, that lender could actually uh, accelerate your mortgage if they get wind of the fact that there's been a property transfer. So how do you alleviate that concern? Well, what you need to do is you need to go to either Freddie or Fannie's website, and they actually have lookup tools right here. So here's the Freddie Mac lookup tool. You go there, I've got the, uh, I'll put the links down in the show notes for you. It, it's uh, myhome.freddiemac.com forward slash resources loan lookup. Fannie has the exact same thing here, but you go into this and all you would need to do is put in your street address, into this form where it's located, the last for your social security number, hit the box, hit submit, and then it will run a check to determine whether or not your mortgage is owned by Freddie or Fannie. Now you have to use both of these, right? Because if you just looked at the Freddie one and it wasn't bought by Freddie, but it was bought by Fannie, then uh, you may get bad information. Think, oh, they don't own it when in fact it's owned by the other company. Uh, one way to think of it too is that Fannie typically buys mortgages from larger lenders, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, whereas Freddie is going to be buying it from the smaller banks uh, that are out there. But anyways, when it comes to uh, putting your, your properties into limited liability companies and you're concerned about making that transfer because you think maybe my loan has not bit, yet been bought by Freddie or Fannie, there's your solution. I'll actually put links, as I stated, in the show notes so you can just go right to the websites. I'll also put a link to my prior video in the show notes as well, where I talk about the due on sale clause and I break down for you uh, Freddie's and Fannie's rules about loan service processing and where they allow you to transfer properties into limited liability companies. Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, well, now's your opportunity.